So tell me what you lost. Everything. Lost everything. I lost a brand new motorcycle. It was in my shed. I only had 200 miles on it. Burned up and just melted. My bicycle and all my work tools, my construction tools. I lost all my mechanic tools. And my dad's tools that I gave to you when he passed away. Yeah, I lost everything I was going to give to pictures. my children. All, 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 all the, the children's pictures have all gone. gone. Yeah different things that I had placed that I was going to give to my children. I'm Dan Cobb. I lived here at 3122 Loretta Way in Santa Rosa and just got woken up in the middle of the night around after one o'clock. There's a lot of people making noise around here and car coming down the street here honking and all kinds of people and commotion and cars going back and forth at, after one o'clock in the morning. It just wasn't usual. When the winds were really blowing, you could see ash coming down the street, red flamed ashes blowing all over the place. And I went to my mom's bedroom, opened up the blinds and looked out and the palm tree had caught on fire and it just like exploded. And all these old dead leaves started, branches started coming down to the ground and caught the fence on fire. They caught the corner of this unit right here on fire first. And then it caught our unit on fire. First our shed caught on fire. And the fire and the wind and just went up and went right up underneath the siding and just took the whole mobile home. And we just had to get out of here because it was so smoky, I couldn't breathe anymore. So me and my mom, we took our cars and we went down the street about a mile, parked, waited for two hours, then we came back and all of this had burned. And the air was a little bit cleaner. And then the cops came and they told us we had to leave. And we said, we don't have anywhere to go. And they said, you can go down to the Finley Center. It's gonna be a Red Cross shelter. So we went down there and we've been there ever since. And uh, I'm eating down there better than I ate at home. <laughs> so it's a pretty good place to stay until we can get our insurance adjuster out here to look at this and then we can start getting this cleaned up and get a new mobile home put in, get our lives back to normal.